Hungarian folk tales. The astronomer, the thief, the huntsman and the tailor. Once upon a time there lived a poor man. And the poor man had four sons. But the poor man was so poor that he had no money to keep his sons. One day the poor man said, the time has come for you to leave home and seek your fortunes. You should all go and learn a trade. So the four sons set off into the wide world. The sons soon came to a crossroads that branched off into four different directions. So the sons agreed to part company and all meet back at the crossroads in a year and a day. Time passed and each of the sons studied a trade. The first son became an astronomer. The second a thief. The third was a huntsman. And the youngest, a tailor. So they met again after a year and a day and they journeyed back home to tell their father of the jobs they now all had. Well done, sons. I believe you all, but I still would like to see proof of the new trades you practice. You, my son, the astronomer, what do you see on top of that tree? I see a nest with five eggs and a golden bird is sitting on them. You, my son, the thief, if that is indeed your trade, go now to the nest and steal the eggs from under the golden bird without ruffling a feather on its head. So the thief climbed up the tree and succeeded in stealing the eggs unseen. And he gave the eggs to his father. The old man put the eggs on the table. He placed one egg at each corner and then put the fifth egg in the middle. You, my son, the huntsman, if that is indeed your trade, shoot each egg with one shot and split them in two. So the huntsman shot and hit all five eggs in turn. Well done, son. You are a master of your craft. You, fourth son, the tailor, if that is indeed your trade, stitch all five eggs back together so that the chicks inside each survive. So the tailor stitched the eggs back together and did an excellent job of work but they would not know if all was well until the eggs eventually hatched. Now, thief, you must put the eggs back under the golden bird unnoticed. The thief succeeded and only a few days later, all five eggs hatched out and the golden bird was delighted with the chicks. But each chick had a tiny red band around its neck where the tailor had stitched them back together. Now, my sons, you have proven your trades to me, but now you must prove them to the wide world. News soon came that the princess was lost, so the astronomer's son took out his spyglass and saw the pretty girl sitting on a rocky island in the middle of a vast ocean. And he saw a fierce dragon sleeping on the princess's lap. So the astronomer's son went directly to the king and requested a boat to rescue his royal daughter. <laughs> the four sons voyaged to the rocky island where they discussed how best to save the princess. The tailor's son suggested they shoot the dragon, but the astronomer's son was worried that they would hit the pretty princess. But you, thief, if you could steal the eggs, steal her from the dragon. And the thief stole the princess unseen. Then they took the girl onto the boat and sailed slowly back to the shore. 
But that is when the dragon awoke, and the fearsome beast caught sight of them. The princess had gone, and the dragon flew after them. The dragon saw that the boat was nearing the shore and knew that the princess must be on board, so it swooped down to the boat. But the huntsman's son saw the mighty dragon coming, and he shot it in the heart. Then the dragon fell from the sky onto the boat and smashed it into smithereens, leaving only a few planks of floating wood that the sons held onto. Then the huntsman said, We'll surely perish in these waters. So the tailor son swiftly stitched the boat back together and everyone aboard survived. The old king was a very happy man when he saw his daughter again. And he asked the four young men, which one of you deserves my daughter's hand? The astronomer son said, me, sire, for I sighted her in the middle of the ocean. The thief said, me, sire, for I stole her quietly away. Seeing her was not enough, brother, if you weren't brave enough to go and get her. Then the huntsman said, getting her was not enough, because if I hadn't shot the fearsome dragon, it would have eaten us all up. Then the tailor said, Only I deserve the princess, sire, because if I hadn't stitched the boat back together, we would have all surely drowned. And the brothers began to fight. So the old king said, I cannot grant my daughter's hand to all four of you, and so instead I shall grant you each a portion of my kingdom. Will that suffice? because the princess is very pretty, but living in peace is better still. So all four sons received a quarter of the kingdom, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>